morning, Miss Leiden, and welcome to a very merry edition of WL TV. I'm Alf Esme Torres, and I'm the first Noel author. Happy Ugly Sweater Day, Leiden. If you're dressed in holiday attire, make sure to stop by the APA table to get into the raffle. As the holiday season approaches, Sprint is partnering with Leiden to give the gift of internet to some students. WLTV's Louis Vidal spoke with several participants to get more information on Tuesday's press conference and what this means for Leiden students. Good morning, West Leiden. I'm here with Lieutenant Governor Evelyn Sanguinetti. Hi, nice to Hi, you. buenos días, Luis. Nice buenos to días. see you guys. Um, so what is the Connect Ed program and how does it benefit the students? Well, Connect Ed is actually an initiative by the White House. They've partnered in with Sprint, who's donated valuable dollars so that the students could have access to the internet, or as you guys call it, hotspots. As, as the students had indicated today, sometimes if you're in extracurricular activities, you don't have the opportunity to do your work from school. So you need those hotspots so that you could have internet con connectivity from your own home, which is a big deal. And that's those are the testimonials you heard today that were very, very strong. So Sprint has done this. They started their initiative a year ago to the tune of three million dollars, right? Three million dollars, but this year they have added an additional five million dollars to the effort. That's eight million dollars total. This is a big deal because now they're helping more students, about 4,000 students. So that is wonderful and it's wonderful because it also helps the Latino community. Being the first Latina lieutenant governor in the whole country, this is a big deal to me. This school is 81 percent Latino and we certainly want our Latino population to have access and opportunity so we could all find jobs and compete in an international marketplace. Yes, and I guess a lot of students are not aware that um, the problem that students have don't have internet access at home. So, how does the future envisionment of this program will help future students around every community, not just Leiden? Right, right. Well, that's the idea. You want to give all the students throughout the state of Illinois access and opportunity, not just one community. But this is a great start. So we start here, but the vision is to enlarge so that all 102 counties in Illinois have that access and opportunity. All right, thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor. And I am here at the Sprint Press Conference with Junior Liliana Gaona. Liliana, how has the Connect Ed program helped you? Um, the Connect Ed program has really helped me um, to be able to get home and have a mobile hotspot for me to do my homework um, without having to worry about how I will be able to do my homework. And how would it have been more difficult if Sprint hasn't offered you this hotspot? Um, it would be more difficult because I wouldn't know how to do my homework um, and I would be struggling in school because I wouldn't be able to accomplish um, all my schoolwork. Um, and it's it's struggle because if you really are trying to do your homework, it's hard just because of not having internet at home. All right, thank you so much. Back to the studio. Thanks, Louis. This past Wednesday, Best Buddies held their ugly sweater party. WLTV Jesus Delgado caught up with advisor Miss Kelly and Vice President Guadalupe Barone to see what all the fun was about. We have Michael and Josh. We have Matt, Adrian, Jordan, and Santa. Oh, and can you tell us a bit of what's going on today? Uh, yeah, today we have our ugly sweater party. We're making holiday cards, watching a holiday movie, and just having some snacks and some fun. All right. And where will the cards be going, Lupe? Uh, the cards will be going to Loyola Hospital and also Children's Memorial Hospital, so the patients have something to look forward to. And Ms. Kelly, how do you feel the overall interaction has been between the students and their best buddies so far? Um, so far it's been really, really great. We have a lot of natural friendships. The kids love seeing their friends in the hallways. Um, and as the year progresses, it just gets better. So it's, it's been fantastic. All right, looks like we have some pretty good cards and some ugly Christmas sweaters. All right, back to the studio. Thanks, Jesus. The semester is not even over, and it is already time to start thinking about Leiden's talent show in January. WLTV's Michael Vasquez spoke with some of the stars of the show to get the basics on how you can get involved. Thanks, guys. I'm Michael Vasquez, and I'm with Isabel Ivy and Faith Bass. How many years have you done this for? Um, this is going to be my third year. Um, this is about to be my second year. Who do you encourage for, to audition for the talent show? I would encourage literally anyone who has a special talent or something they love that they want to showcase to the school. And lastly, what acts do you look forward to this year? I look forward to the different kind of acts, not just singing, but dancing, rapping, like poetry, tumbling, stuff like that. You heard it from them. Back to the studio. Thanks, Michael. Visions of college dance in your head. A new scholarship is taking off. 
WLTV's Ileana Terrell talked with Ms. Rattini to find out how this growing campaign can mean money for high schoolers. Hi, I'm Ileana Terrell and I'm here with Brittany, a snowball leader, and today she's going to tell us a little bit about the PSA competition. So Brittany, what do we need to know? Well, we want to change the beliefs and behaviors about weed. A snowball will award a $400 scholarship for the best prevention and awareness video commercial about weed. And what are the winning video submission requirements? Um, they should be no longer than 45 seconds and contain school-appropriate contact addressing prevention and awareness about weed. They should also be re relevant to lighten and be submitted by February 25th to Mr. Darius. And when will the winner be announced? Um, the winner will be announced uh, the day of safe celebration. Okay, well, you guys heard it. Don't forget to submit your videos by the 25th of February back to the studio. Thanks, Ileana. Well, that's all the time we have for you today, Leiden. Good luck to all the Leiden sports competing over this winter break. Have a fun and safe break, Leiden. See you next year. And don't forget, go Eagles and happy holidays! <laughs>